Hi everyone, it's Gail here with a craft with me and um, I want to say hi and hugs to Veronica, Ramona, Nora, and Nicolette. Thank you so much for watching my videos and for your comments. I so appreciate it. And I am back after a couple days with another set of grandchildren. <laughs> And so I wanted to show you really quick. They made little, um, they made little tags for double digits, uh, fun little baby book that, um, I'm, I'm done with now. And so I'm just going to put their tags in there. And it's so cute because they wrote him little messages, you know, it's just, it's, it'll be fun. So I need to get the other grandkids on that little project too. So I'm going to set that aside because today I'm starting a series. Um, I am going to do a start to finish on these little journals. Uh, let's see, one of my one of my subbies. I was trying to remember her name and it's not coming to me right now. I'm sorry, but she asked me about my um, fabric paper, paper fabric, fabric paper. And I have a video on how to make this and we'll definitely um, link it below. I think I figured out that whole situation of linking uh, their videos below. So I had done five and I've shown you this. This is my gratitude. This is my gratitude journal that has one of the covers right here. So, um, You'll notice how flexible it is, and it's just wonderful. It's tough and flexible. These are still a little stiff, <laughs> but once you use it, it kind of works in and um, and gets really flexible and really nice. So, uh, for the most part, I'm saying these are these are nine by six, I believe. Yes. Yes and yes. This one, for some reason, I didn't cut down to to be nine, but we'll have to do that. Anyways, so I want to use these covers, and I also want to use, I've been making random ephemera. This is the last little batch of random ephemera. This was what I was doing while um, while my granddaughters were making those tags, and so I yeah I've made some just little little ephemera. This one I could sew around. Maybe I will do that. Anyway, um, while I've had grandkid duty, so lots of random ephemera. The other thing is is I have this box. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, I think I can. Let me get the lid off of it. I have this box that this is, these are my digital prints for a variety of people. Let's see. Uh, the yellow one, the yellow ones are Artie Mays, I believe. Yep, because there's the poppy one. And then, oh yeah, and then this is all Tsunami Rose here. I want to get this uh, pared down a little bit because I have I have other uh, digitals I want to fit in here too. So I'm kind of on a mission to get some scraps taken, not some scraps, really just um, I I'd, I'd call them extras, really. So I am going to just pull out. This is Artie Mays here. And of course, I'll link Artie Mays and Tsunami Rose below, as I always do. But, let's see. I don't think... Oh yeah, those are Artie Mays too. So I have some Butterfly Madness here. I have... What all do I have? Christmas. We're not going to do Christmas right now. Vintage Journal and Precious Moments. And then the sunflower and poppy. And there's some of these that, I mean, I've had them printed out for the longest time and just not, just not done the journals. So I want to try and use some of these papers. So I only have two in the Butterfly Madness, so those might just fit in with something else. Let's look at the, 
vintage journal and precious moments. Let's see here, precious moments. Uh, that's all precious moments. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, oh, it's got the ephemera that I haven't cut out yet. Yeah, so I just need to use some things. I need to use some things and, and quit, you know, adding to the stash, if you will. So let's see where those might, which which uh, journal cover those might go nicely with. Um, see, this one's butterflies, and I was actually thinking of this for the butterfly one. So maybe we'll, we'll check that out. Ooh. I think we might have to work either this one or this one, right? I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go with this one, but I need to cut this at nine inches because it's bugging me that it's not. <laughs> Let's see. And is it, is it straight? I obviously didn't do a very good, very good job on this guy. He isn't wasn't even straight on his on his fold here. Okay, I'm gonna take this over to my big cutter and cut this nine inches tall, and I will return in two seconds. Well, maybe more like four seconds. Yeah, it's not too much. It's just, it's just got a little bit that's an overhang. Oh, <laughs> okay. So it cut the paper part. It did not cut the fabric part, but no biggie there. We'll just cut it. And then um, I also brought all my other... Um, Hope I did that straight. We'll see. <laughs> Jeez. No, not good, Gail. Not good. Okay. Well, we're just going to see if we can struggle with getting this a little straighter. Just wants to it just wants to go over the other way so if I can hang on to that then really give it a good press down its spine then I think we can maybe even this off I'm gonna use my my big tough scissors and we are gonna Make that straight. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Now I'm happy. Everything's the same size. <laughs> so, okay. Ready to get started. Okay. So we took our, our granddaughters back. And um, there was snow on the pass. Boy, there's a lot of these. I think this will do two journals, actually. I think we're going to do these two journals with these pages. And then we'll add some other other fun things. I have all my page boxes here. So, so, so Andrea, this is going to be my, <laughs> this is going to be my, um, my design team for, this time, I think, just because I really need to do this. I really need to, oh, look at that one with the butterflies. That's beautiful. We'll put that with this one because this one has some, a butterfly or two on it. So put that there. I had a little extra on this one, so I made a tag out of it. So that's kind of fun. Okay. Um, I'm just going to kind of go every other one, I guess. Let's see. But this one has a butterfly too, so I'll go there and here. That one has notes and notes. Let's 
Do notes over here. This here. Let's do this one here. And that one's kind of like that one, so we'll put it over there. Okay, do I have five in each? No, I have I have six over here. One, two, three, four. Okay, I need one more over on the other side. We'll do this one. Okay, so that's good. And this one, this one is just kind of an extra. But maybe we can do something with that collage-wise or something. I'm going to kind of keep that with those papers, okay? Okay, and then this one, these two, this one has butterflies too, but it's a little different. Um, so we were going to look at precious moments, weren't we? Oh, this is, this is pretty. Did that go well enough with this one, do you think? I mean, this goes really well. Oh, I like all the vintage people. Isn't that fun? So, so yeah. So we've got vintage journal and precious moments. That's, that's fun. Okay, that one, that one. I think we're going to put all of these in here because there's just six. This one makes seven. So that's, that's okay. So this one will be precious moments. I'm going to kind of, I think, leave those on because otherwise I might forget the names. Okay, so I need, I have some ephemera to cut out while I watch TV tonight. That's always good. Oh, there's another page. Cool. Well, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's okay though, because I can just use a few, use not as many other sheets in here maybe. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, and then this one, let's see, oh, I'm going to set this on my other table because I need to cut those out. All right, so what else is in here? I know, I think the Butterfly Madness ones will go with that, but, oh, they aren't terrific prints because they have lines through them. Yeah, my printer heads needed cleaning and I didn't, I probably back then didn't know what it was. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these and stick them in my collage, um, my collage papers file back here because I can use bits and pieces of those and then the, the lines won't show as much and stuff. So We'll just stick those in there. Okay, so we're <laughs> we're organizing a bit as we do this. Okay, so this is all the butterfly stuff. Butterfly stuff. More butterfly stuff. Oh, the ballet. That was a beautiful kit. I need to get back to doing that one again. Okay, so we have some... We have some sunflower and poppies as well. What do we have here? And I think it would be just fine in here. So, in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, vellum. So I'm just going to use these and then of course we'll use some of the use some of the ephemera that's printed out. My goal with this you guys is not to print anything out. Nothing new. Nothing new. I want to use all stuff that I already have. 
So, what are all these? Oh, yeah, I've got, I've got a whole nother kit right here. <laughs> okay, but we cleared out quite a bit there. We cleared out quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to move this, get rid of this, and then we can look at some other papers to pull with. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And I'm going to need to cut out all of the kits, too, I guess. So I think tonight while I watch TV might be a cutting night, which is great. I, I love that. I love having that to do. I'm looking for, looking for a... Um, sorry, I can't get my words out. I mean, I'm looking for a sandwich bag for the ephemera for the sunflower and copy, poppies. These are kind of big. And so are these, but the rest of those can go in. Okay. I'm so excited about this, you guys. It feels like I'm actually going to clear something out. So... All right, so we'll set the ephemera kind of aside. Even though I haven't cut out the papers, we can still, I think, kind of put together the signatures and, and think about them, you know, as we go. I love this with the, the old stuff. Let's start with that one just because I'm quite enamored with it. All right, so, oops, I'm sorry, I keep hitting, I feel like my phone is crooked. It is. Sorry about that. Okay, so, of course, we want coffee dyed papers. And generally, for a signature, I usually do 15 or so pages, not ca counting, like, um, sacks or you know, envelopes or half pages necessarily. So this one had eight, didn't it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. This is a different paper than I use now, I think. Okay, so eight there. Let's get some coffee dye rock in here. Um... Ooh, this one would be a perfect one to use some of these um, lacy ones. Oof. Goodness. Didn't know I was going to get my exercise doing this today. Let's see. This is my big old, my big old thing of, like, look at that one. How pretty is that? Oh, and that one. Oh, I, it's going to be hard to decide. Maybe I'll use two different ones in this. I'm so stingy with that paper. It's so beautiful. And that comes from Deborah's paper. What is it? Deborah's paper, something or another. Deborah's paper designs. Deborah's paper designs. Um Okay, and then I have some, I don't have any plain in this, in this one. Let's get just some plain, too. I don't think I want any colors with this one. I think I'll just go kind of coffee stained and see what we end up with. These, these ones are very, these ones are light. I kind of want to go a darker, darker bit. That's a fun one. Um, I was thinking about maybe some coffee dyed uh, ledger paper, perhaps. Here's some great music paper. Yeah, that's nice coffee dyed music paper. So 8, 10, 12. Um, 
Oh, then the ledger sort of stuff. I don't... Ooh, this one would be good. This was ugh, some ledger paper that my um, my friend found, 1942. So that might be kind of fun. Couple more papers. Okay, let's look. Let's look in here. This is my big box of paper. Pages. These are just random pages. This is the mat. That actually kind of goes nice with the cover. Let's use some of that. I'm not going to count that. <laughs> I cheat too, you know. <laughs> okay, I don't want children's. Really? I just thought maybe there'd be something in here that was kind of like some old British papers. Kind of like the idea of this ancestor paper because it's precious, whatever it was, precious memories and kind of family related, it looks like. This one. Okay, so that's 14. Okay, something else that might be interesting that is of that time period. That's really cool. It's too tall by not that much. Okay, that might be. I think I like this page. Okay. I think we got I think we got our pages figured out for that one. Let's see what we ended up with. And these are gonna fit right in there, which is awesome. And the inside of this is kind of a purple and stuff, so keep that in mind as well. Yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to use some of these papers and definitely use up some of the kits that I have printed. And um, kind of my, my random little fabric paper covers that have also been sitting there those have literally been sitting there almost a year because I made those when I was still in my sling after my shoulder surgery last April April of 2018 so yeah it's it's been a year it's high time I high time I did something with this stuff let's see um I think I'm gonna make this into a uh, have it have a little fold. Ooh, that's crunchy. We're going to need to reinforce that. Look at how it's just breaking. That's all right. We can reinforce that. Oh, yeah. Boy, that is just, it's just breaking right off. But that's okay. We'll just wash it. It'll be fine. And... The music paper, is that too tall? A little bit tall. I have my handy little, my little cutter here. Somebody asked me, you're using your little cutter in videos. Do you not like your big cutter? I like my big cutter. I love my big cutter. But it's it's big and heavy and and it takes up my whole area when I'm doing videos. So I haven't been... Um, haven't been using it. Is that right? Yeah. Um, I haven't been using it in videos. I've been using this one, which is just fine. My granddaughters knocked this off my table. And 
little ridge thing isn't too happy about that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I had things to tell you guys, but um, I don't know. I don't know what they are. Uh, they'll come to me. Um. Oh, I know one thing I wanted to tell you is this will be the last video. I'll have a few days of no videos because um, our next thing is taking our um, our other granddaughter to um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this way. Uh, to a volleyball tournament and so we are going to be gone for that so I won't be able to make any videos but but when I get back we'll continue on these because I'm real excited about this I'm excited this says return of spring yes I'm ready oh my gosh when we so these just need to be cut and then we'll fold them in with these and that will be the start of our signatures but at least I have the paper somewhat somewhat ready somewhat ready okay so I'm going to set this one up above because it's kind of done how are we doing time wise oh geez we're not even at half hour that's awesome let's see this one goes with that too um yeah so anyway yeah we've got got our bit of a trip with her Okay, this one only had the five pages or so. Six pages, two, four, five pages. So we're gonna need a we're gonna need ten pages. So we'll just we'll just figure that out. But this one is very floral, and I think um, I might have some garden pages that would look good in this one. Hmm. And how about a little Edith Holden? We can't forget about Edith. Yeah. Okay, so in this one, kind of saving these because I feel like they might go through my printer if I decide to get brave. So, what else do we have? Ooh, that's a pretty colored one colored um ooh, and I like these all of which you guys I have bought on Etsy I have like these are my own coffee dining back here so we'll put one of those in there but um with winter not being able to do it outside and um And, and I don't know, just time in general. I just haven't done any coffee dyeing. And when my shoulder hurts, it's hard to do too, which it's much better. It is crazy since the weather has gotten nicer, you know, and it's not as cold. My shoulder is way, way better. It's really quite crazy. I, I really think it was the 30 below weather. <laughs> So there you go. Well, I guess I'll know that next year and not freak out when it hurts. Ooh, how about some like tracing paper stuff in there? That'd be fun. So that's five. Let's do a dictionary page. this five six seven so three more so let's do some sort of um like floral something or another make sure i have my papers back in my folder properly so i don't scrunch them when i put them back in their file all right okay so let's Let's see. I know I want Edith Holden. Hold on a second while I grab her. Edith and who else? Ooh, this is a fun one. Okay. Okay.
Okay, I got a couple books anyway that will be good in here. Look at this one. This one's kind of a fun one. Sorry to be away for a minute. The Scented Garden. And I think it's got really, it's got fun pages in it. Um, I'd kind of like to see if I can find some roses. Just there. Nineteen eighty eight copyright on this this book, so it's not super old, but super pretty. Look at that! Isn't that pretty? I found this at a estate sale. Oh my gosh, you guys! We're going to be gone with my granddaughter at her volleyball. Oh, that's pretty. Um at her volleyball this weekend and it's the the first estate sale of the year is happening the same weekend well <laughs> but of course my granddaughter takes precedence but i was like oh darn it so while my granddaughters were here that were just here um we went to garage sale or not a garage sale antique store and I got some stuff which I'm going to share with you in a video, in a video coming up. But um, I have some stuff that's going to go into my Etsy, and so I thought I'd wait and share it with you at that point. Let's see. This is the. I was just wondering if there's some Edith that's got some roses or something. These are pretty picked over, these ones. But lots of fall, October, September, it's the August poppies. It's a pretty one possibilities right there I'll hold on to. Oh, so pretty. I love the Edith Holden pages. They're so awesome. And I've been really good about just using mine too and not, and not hoarding it. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with this page. Yeah, so anyway, I did find some treasures at the antique store. That was so fun. And um, so I'll be sharing those with you when I get back. Um, but uh, my granddaughters <laughs> are so much fun, too, because they um, they love themselves a little antique store trip. And gosh, I think those are going to be fine just like that. Um my oldest granddaughter, she loves the vintage clothing. And so we had, that's a little too large. Okay, we're going to do this differently. I'm just going to fold that up a little bit. Um, yeah, so I think she could have stayed in the vintage clothing area forever. <laughs> but yeah. So this was the antique store that um, I had a booth in for a time after my after my store closed. I moved to the antique store and had a booth there. And um, gosh, I found out this time that the gal who owned the owned the antique store. Um, has brain cancer. Yeah. They I last time I was in there they said that she'd had a stroke and and um apparently what they thought was a stroke was actually the pressure of the tumor. And I think she's younger than I am, but but she was a lifelong smoker, so I don't know if that contributed but oh my gosh when you get news like that it just takes the wind out of your sails you know 
So, <clears throat> so anyway, I found that out. But good to know at the same time, you know, so you can include her in your prayers and stuff. So I'm not sure what's going to happen to the store. Um, right now, the ladies who have always worked the front desk are just continuing to do so. They're just soldiering on, but I don't know what will ultimately happen with it. Um, what I think I'm going to do with these extras, especially since there's so many in this one, is kind of decide where I want them. What does the inside of this one look like? Oh yeah, it is super bright. I think I might gesso that to tone that down a little bit. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen there. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I don't know. Just, just kind of a, a sad thing to learn. Oops. Maybe we'll, we'll just and then this one and then where's the other one that didn't I I guess maybe I didn't have two of the lacy ones maybe I only had one in that case And then we'll put that, um, we'll pop these pages in between the coffee dyed ones. But you know what I'm thinking? Maybe that'll be the middle. Maybe this one will be the middle. Okay. Anyways, anyways, anyways. That's why I, my husband and I talk about it and I'm like, you know what? We just got to live big. We got to live big because you just never know. And I just, um, yesterday my subscriber giveaway would have aired and, um, I told my husband, I just, I want to do this as long as I can. You know, I'm just enjoying it so much. I'm enjoying all of you so much. And I just want to keep doing this. Um, and part of that being the realization that you never know, you know. I'm sure, I'm sure she didn't think, oh gosh, I'm, you know, I'm going to have this happen. She just... I mean, she just was going along and thought she had a stroke. Okay, this one's got five, too, so we need ten of that, too. If I had I been efficient and not talking to you guys through the whole thing, I probably would have um, realized that this had five, too, and I could just pull them at the same time. <laughs> but that's okay. This way, they'll be different. Let's pull out one that we haven't pulled out yet. This one's kind of at the beginning. What's in it? Ooh, yes. Some of these, those are fun. I think let's do one of those just for fun. Yeah, there's just some different, these are from, let's do one of these. These are from Subbies. I have the best subbies in the whole wide world. You are all the best subbies in the whole wide world. I kind of want that one for that one. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, there was no rhyme or reason to that decision. I just liked it. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. That's the black. Let's do that. Two, three, four. I could just some of mine and parchment. Okay. All right. So I think we just need 
couple plain ones. I don't know if this one needs doilies. What do you think? Well, it's pretty rosy. I think it I think it could use a doily maybe. But let's grab This one's kind of going grubby, so let's do this wrinkly one. So that's five. Let's get some doilies. Um, ooh. This one's pretty. And one of my doilies. Oh, isn't that yummy? Gosh, I love nothing more than a, than a big old batch of coffee, Diane. All right. So then, I wonder if we can use this in this one. I think we could. I mean, I might really ink it up. And I have, I have some stuff. What did I do with that? I wanted to try aging some paper. I realize this is total squirrel time here, but let's put these papers. What do I have? Two, five, six, need out maybe four more or so. But let's put that with that. Let's play with this for just a little time. Yep, we've, we're getting to the end. So let's see. I I went through my craft supplies with my granddaughters and I gave them a bunch of my old mixed media stuff. Gave them some paint, gave them some stuff because I just haven't used it much. And I had this glass effect gel and they took the other colors, but they left me with amber, which was just fine because I think I might use it to try an age paper. So this is my old vintage photo, uh, my old stamp. And what I was thinking of doing with it is like seeing if I can get uh, some ink out of it. And then I was thinking of getting some water on it and then just kind of mushing that around. Well, it's making it look grungy, that's for sure. Not exactly sure how I'm gonna get that a little more even, but I'm I'm kinda liking it so far. Okay, we're just gonna try and grudgy up this paper is what we're gonna do. Um, since this is a start to finish, let me just say this is what happens. I get I get a little bit of a a squirrel hits and then I'm off on to some other tangent that isn't picking out papers. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be kind of cool and I'm going to continue to do that. But I was also thinking about just taking this because this is embossed on the edges and doing this. Oh, I needed to play so bad, you guys. This, I I bet you'll be able to relate to this, but last night I could not go to sleep. So it was 3 o'clock in the morning. You guys have talked to me about my wacky sleeping before. But um, I honestly think the reason is, is I'd been several days with my granddaughters and I hadn't been able to craft. And I have had ideas going in my head. I had, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that. And um, I didn't want to get up because I didn't want to wake them up. But I honestly think that's why I couldn't sleep. This is a great way to use up an old ink pad, I think. Because it had some to it, but it was just getting hard to get it on my blotter. One more, 
And then I'm going to try some of this um, gel stuff. I feel like since this has gotten wet, it's gotten juicier. Don't you think it's it's added kind of more? Hmm, I wonder if I can just along the edges a little bit. I mean, I must, I really must offend the color white because I <laughs> just can't handle it. Can't handle the white. Okay, right there. Okay, well, just see if I can kind of, it's getting soggy, so I don't want to pull on it too much, but try and pull up some of that that's still on the mat. Okay, so what I was thinking with this, this is kind of a, let me see if I can pull you in so you can see this part better. Let's see. Okay. So it's kind of a gel and it's an amber color. And so I think it's just going to give it a nice little kind of an aged look. So I think we're just going to do that in the white space that's left. Try to do a little bit of that. So this is, I think, stuff that's supposed to be actually used on glass or on, on transparencies or something like that to where it's going to um, make it look like stained glass. And I had various colors, which I have now given to my granddaughters. I might live to regret that. <laughs> But this was this was from when the little craft store here in town went out of this, uh, uh, out of business, and I was like, I don't know what it is, but I'll probably use it for something. Well, here we are, probably five years later, and the good thing is, is it's still juicy. And the other awesome thing is, I'm loving what it's doing to this paper. So. I might have to do this to the other one that we have. Okay, I want it over all the flowers. Yeah, that's really given a lot more of a aged look. I really actually like the stamp pad too, though. Just trying to make sure I get it where there's white spots, but then blend it out a little bit. Okay, well, we'll let that dry. And next time we get together to play with these journals, that should be dry. Meantime, I'll do some cutting out and other things to prepare and that you don't necessarily need to watch. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that well on camera, but it's pretty. I don't know if it looks as good on camera. But anyway, we're going to let it dry and see what it does. Hmm. Kind of cool, kind of cool. I need a wet one. <laughs> but yeah, so my granddaughter's got got some leftover mixed media stuff. I gave them some canvases and stuff, and yeah, so they were they were happy little campers. They were excited, and I was excited because I just I just need to pare down a little bit, and. So that was good. And, you know, some of that stuff I didn't really want to give to my friends because I felt like it was probably, you know, past its prime. Let's see, where are we at? 50. Okay. Well, now I've made a mess, and so I cannot really do anything but what I just did. Um, ooh, ooh, can you see that? 
it's kind of shiny. See that? Oh, it just grabbed it. Kind of, you can kind of see. Oh, that's going to be cool. I might have to let that side dry and do the other side with that um, amber stuff. Okay, let's, where is that? Where's the other one? Okay, let's do this one too, just for fun. Okay, I think first I'm gonna go around and pick up that embossed part. Now, who'd have thunk it with this rather modern paper? This one was already folded, so I thought, why not? Okay, so let's mush it around a little bit. My spritz or spritzes some more after you get it all done. I let go of the thing and it was still squirting, which isn't good because it was aimed towards my stickers. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I just get a bee in my bonnet. But this is so fun to kind of give this paper a different look. And I mean, it's it's fairly dark, but it could definitely still be um, journaled on. If I can get this side, and then I can maybe maybe just a tiny bit more. Just kind of run the edges here and there through it and I'm just gonna lay the back on it some okay so let me make sure I'm in frame I hope I was in frame for doing most of that I forgot I zoomed in that's the that's the darn thing with zooming in I always forget I did it Getting a little more generous with this stuff as I go along. I just wasn't quite sure what it was going to do. And honestly, this is, like I said, been sitting in my stash for all these years. I really don't care if I use it all up on just these two pieces of paper. I think it's really fun to use supplies for things other than what they're intended. <laughs> It's just kind of fun to see what happens. So this is a this is definitely an example of that. Because I'm not sure what this stuff is supposed to. I think it's just supposed to be like a transparent glassy whatever. Oh my gosh, you guys, the other paper, I'll show it to you here in a second. Once I get all this one all rubbed in. Okay. Do a little bit here. Maybe a little bit right there. Okay. Wow. Fun. Let's see how I can't really tell how much. I think I have quite a bit of that left too. The other thing I was thinking of doing, let me back out. Um, well, let me show you this first. Can you see how that's getting shiny as it dries? I don't know if you can tell really well, but it's pretty. 
what I was thinking, let's take a piece of, let's see, if I have just a random, a random piece of coffee dye paper, because I'll show you what my other idea was, but I don't know if it's going to work, but since I'm, since I'm up to my eyeballs in this little project <laughs> that I didn't intend on doing until I saw those pieces of paper. So I was thinking of scrunching this. Thinking of scrunching it. I think I'll do this side. And then I was thinking of wetting it some. Gosh, my sprayer's not spraying real great. Oh, there it is. Once again, I know my we knocked this off while my granddaughters and I were in here. Okay, so what I was thinking was taking this old Distress ink, wetting that, and then just going over it. And kind of picking up the wrinkles. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but. I thought it might be kind of a different way to dye some paper. I actually kind of love it. I think I'm going to put this in just a couple of spots. Not all over it like I did on the other ones, but just. In a couple spots um, I obviously must be missing mixed media because <laughs> I was I was all focused on those journals and it just took a crazy turn didn't it Maybe a little bit right here. See, I think that is going to turn out to be a cool paper once it dries. Once it dries. Yeah, you can see that pretty well. Won't that be cool? So that's just taking an old Distress Ink pad that has seen better days. It even has paint on it. Right there. It's got paint on it. And just rubbing it on a piece of paper. Okay, well, I am going to let that dry, and when we come back, we'll probably be still picking out papers, I don't know, because I have to get packed up, and we need to, we need to head out in the morning, so anyway, it was fun to come craft with you for a while, and thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to go over and, um, and leave a comment of a YouTube channel that you'd like to promote that is um, like a newer channel or something and um, leave that comment and enter the giveaway and because I'll be picking it next week. So everyone have a really great um, few days until I see you again and we'll just see you next week in the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.